Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week we're going to do a little bit of sewing and I'll tell you I had so much fun with this project this week. And have you ever discovered something and you've started making it and it's like you just can't stop doing it. You're just having so much fun. So I can't wait to show you my take on these cute little snap bags. Okay, so they are so fun to make and I can't wait to show you all the different varieties of things you can do with them. But before we get to the project, I want to thank you for stopping by my channel. I appreciate all of my faithful followers and I love it when you guys give my videos a thumbs up or even if you share ideas on other projects you'd like me to try. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. We try to do it every Friday. That's why we call it Inspiration Friday. So this week we're going to be making these snap bags. And if you have not seen the snap bags before, um, this is a super easy project and it's also um, very practical and there's lots of ways that you can use them. I got a little bit of a different spin on the snap bags though that I really want to show you. So here is just a few of them you guys. I, I tell you I've just been having so much fun making all these different snap bags that I even decided to make a big one and this one I am using for my laptop. So I put some nice um, uh, filler in it um, so that or foam in it so it would be really good for my laptop but today I'm going to show you how to make this small size now to make it be a snap bag the secret ingredient is using a tape measure so go and grab an old tape measure or pick one up um, at the store um, I have made one two three four five six seven bags and I still have tape left in this tape measure. So um, definitely um, a must for these snap bags. The other thing is this is a great project for fat folds. So you can use your fat cuts um, of fabric or scraps. And then you're going to need some fusible um, interfacing. So that is basically what we need for this project. So I'm going to hop on over to my sewing area and I'm going to show you how we put these together and how fun and easy it is to make them. So give me a second. I'm going to get that camera angle change and we are going to get making some really cute snap bags. Okay, so let's get going on this project. So I just want to show you guys, I've already got my fabric cut out. And so what I want to tell you guys is this is a seven inches by 13 and a half inches. And then this piece is seven inches by nine inches. And then I've got two five and a half inch squares. Okay. And so the fun part about this project is. So when you're looking for your fabric for this project, you have an outside fabric and then you've got the inside fabric. Okay. So the small piece is actually going to be our outside fabric okay so when you're picking out your colors you know really think about how you want that to be so what i've got here is this is going to be the inside this is going to be the outside and then this fabric right here i'm going to use as my tabs so these cute little tabs okay so what we want to do is the very first thing, and I'm going to move this out of the way, you guys. I did use my ruler and I used my rotary cutter to cut all of my fabric. Now, we also have um, two pieces of interfacing that we're going to be doing, okay? And that's just going to give your board, or excuse me, your bag, a little bit of stiffness, okay? So I've already cut out my interfacing, okay? And it looks like I grabbed my wrong piece. Let me grab my interfacing. Your interfacing is going to be the same size as your fabric. Now, when I'm using a fusible interfacing, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a shininess to it. 
The shininess is the part you're gonna to put to the wrong side of your fabric, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and I'm using my iron. I picked up this um, cordless iron that I just really, really like. So I'm gonna put that on, okay? And then you've got the, the inside piece has also got um, the interfacing. Now for my um, bag that I did for my laptop, I actually used a, um, a heavier foam instead of interfacing just because I really wanted my laptop to be protected in my, my laptop snap, snap bag. Now I like to pull mine, put, turn mine over and give it a really good press. We just wanna make sure it's all in there good. Do the same thing, just want to make sure that my interfacing is adhered to my fabric. Now, you guys, I am doing a small bag here, and you definitely could do whatever size bag that you want, okay? The key here is you want to make sure that this inside fabric is four and a half inches longer than your other fabric. Okay, because that's going to help um, with the, um, when you go to put the, um, the tape measure in. Okay, and you'll see what I mean by that. Okay, so we've got our interfacing in. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I like to, just so I can find the center of mine, I like to just run the iron down it. Okay, and you could mark this with a pin most definitely. I'm gonna find the center of this one also, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place them together, okay? So we have it exactly centered. And I'm just gonna give it another good press. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my clips just to clip this together, okay? Get those all nice in place. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just fold this over maybe a quarter of an inch. It does not need to be folded over very much, you guys, okay? You're gonna fold it over and then this is gonna fold over again. Now, you might want to grab your ruler and just make sure that you've got a good inch there, okay? And mine's just a little bit bigger than an inch, okay? Just gonna adjust my clips there, and I'm just gonna fold that right in place, okay? Oops, get that clip on. And then I'm gonna come over to the other side, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, okay? Be really careful here because I've got a little bit of my interfacing showing. I don't wanna catch that on my iron, okay? And then I'm gonna come back down again, and I'm just gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna make sure that it's a little bit more than an inch, okay? Give it a good press. These go together really easy, you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna set those aside for a second. Now we wanna work on our tabs. So this is a really cute way to do the tab so it's finished all the way, okay? So I'm gonna fold it in half and make a triangle out of my square. I wanna make it as close to a triangle as I can, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna fold it the opposite direction. Now this is a key here, you guys. Just iron on the sides, okay? And I'll show you why in a minute. Just do a press on the sides. And what we're going to do is we are going to see how see how it just these sides are going to come together now and then we're going to lay that flat what that's going to do is that is going to give us finished edges on both sides of our tab so how cute is that okay so let's do that again so i'm going to press this okay in a triangle okay then I'm gonna turn it 
and I'm going to press it again, but I'm not going to go over that middle. Okay. And that just helps the triangle fold together easily. Okay. So now I'm just going to collapse these and they lay right into each other. Just a cute way to do it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my my um, grid here, my ruler, and I know that three and a half is right there, okay? So I'm gonna slip this underneath, okay? And at this point in time, I am actually gonna use a pin, you guys, because I can't get my um, clips in there, just to keep that in place. Turn this one back around, and same thing, I'm gonna double check, there's my three and a half, and I'm gonna slide that in, okay? So I have those nice and centered. Now, a lot of people that make these snap bags don't have finishes on the inside, okay? So like the one that I did here, if you look, I just zigzag stitched that inside, okay? What I wanna show you is a way that you can finish the sides, okay? And so what we're gonna do first is we are going to cut our tape measure to put in, and then we are gonna make this bag using French seams. So let me grab the tape measure. I'm gonna put this off to the side. I wanna show you one that's already done. So this is five inches, and you'll notice that I'm using black tape. And what I'm doing is these are really sharp, and so you wanna make sure that you're covering the edges, okay? Now my tape measure, what I've done is I've saved the end of the tape measure, okay? And so each time I'm done, I'm just putting that back on, okay? And so I'm going to open up my tape measure and my tape measure locks, which works out really nice. And I am gonna cut five inches off. So one, two, three, four, five inches. Now this tape measure cuts just fine. These are not my fabric scissors, you guys. These are just my everyday scissors. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of black tape and really important you do this, you guys, because one, you don't wanna cut yourself and two, you don't want it to um, pull on the fabric or tear your fabric at all. So what I like to do is just so I'm ready to go for the next time is I go ahead and cover that and then this end piece that I have, and I just do this just in case my tape measure tried to wrap back in there. <laughs> so there, I've got that all ready to go. And this is definitely a tape measure Lisa's using for snap bags, okay? So we've got our, our um, tape measure all ready to go, okay? And so a couple things we're gonna do here. One, I'm gonna hop over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna do a straight stitch all the way along here. And I'm gonna do a straight stitch all the way along here. So what I'm making sure is that I'm catching those tabs in, okay? So as soon as we come back from doing that, I'm gonna show you how we put um, our tape measure in because there is a certain way that you're gonna put these in to make sure they snap right for you, okay? So let's hop over to the sewing machine and we'll put that seam in. So we're at the sewing machine, and what I want you guys to know is I do have my walking foot on because I've been working on other projects. You do not need to use a walking foot for this. And so what I like to do is I like to use my foot as a guide because I want that seam to be right next to the edge here, and I want it to be even, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start my stitch and I'm gonna back stitch it. And then I'm just gonna go really slow. And you guys, until you have um, sewing really mastered and even after you have it mastered, slow and steady, I always say wins the race, right? So just go slow as you're sewing. And that way you make sure that you have a nice straight line, okay? Because depending on what color fabric, now I'm using a gray fabric on the, or excuse me, a gray thread on this. Um, you, I could have used a hot pink and then it wouldn't have shown, 
um, but I just happen to have this on my machine already. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. I'm gonna secure my stitch and then I'm gonna cut my threads. Okay, and so we've got that seam all done across there. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other one and then we're gonna hop back over and I'm gonna show you the next step. So we're back at the pressing pad and I am gonna go ahead and clip my threads here, okay? I just wanna make sure I get all of those out of the way. Always like to clip as I go. Okay, so we're all set there. Now what you wanna do is we have got this ready to go to put our um, tape measure in. Now you wanna make sure a tape measure curves around, okay? you want to make sure your numbers are facing down. So you're going to put, slide this in your opening, okay? And you're going to want to get it centered, okay? And so I'm just kind of push it and I'm feeling, and sometimes they get stuck a little bit, so you just got to play with it a little bit. And I can feel that that's right where my tape measure is, okay? I'm going to come around the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. Numbers are down, and I'm getting to make sure that this is nice and centered. You want to be really cautious and get this just right, you guys, because you don't want to break a needle on your sewing machine. So now, to do a French seam, we are first going to sew this like it's complete, right? So we're going to put our good side to the outside, okay, just like this. And now I like to make sure that my edges right here are a, a really nice match, okay? And so what I do is I always match up at the top first, and then we can push down to the bottom, okay? And we can even give it a nice little press, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, and I'm just gonna hop over there, you guys, and then I'll come back and show you. I'm just gonna do a seam right down here and i'm going to come in a little bit more than a quarter of an inch okay and i've got plenty of room here i can feel where my um, tape measure is and so i've got plenty of room um, to be able to put this on my sewing machine so i'll be right back so we are back and so now what the key, what we're going to do is we are now going to trim our bag so that we can do the french cut excuse me the french seam so what I like to do is I am taking my bag and I'm taking my um, ruler and I'm gonna do a quarter inch. So right here is the quarter inch on my ruler, okay? And I'm putting that right where the seam is, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim the excess away, okay? This will help us make sure that we are enclosing these seams when we do our next step, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just go right through there, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn my bag wrong sides out, okay? So I'm going all the way, and it takes a little bit, you guys, because those, um, the tape measure really needs to, um, needs to bend for you, okay? And so you wanna get your corners all poked out. Actually, the bag is really cute on this side right now, you guys. Um, but what I'm doing is poking those corners out, okay? And I still have room. I can still feel where my um, tape measure is, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over to the sewing machine and I am going to do a little bit bigger than a quarter inch seam all the way down. And that's going to ensure that I catch that seam, okay? So give me a second, I'm gonna hop over to the sewing machine. I just wanna get that corner out. And then I will come back and I'll show you how we've got a completed bag. Okay, so I've done my seam, okay? And I'm gonna trim my um, strings. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna turn this right side out. And you guys, we are gonna have a completed bag that has got finished um, 
uh, edges on the inside. Okay, so it takes a little bit. So pull it out and then just push and turn that around. And if we captured our seam, this is when the truth happens. Make sure we've captured our seam, which we have. And look how cute our little bag is. And see, and we've got all nice finished seams on the inside. And there you have it. We have made a snap bag. So I've done a couple different varieties of bags, like I said before. So this is an example, instead of doing the triangle, I just did little tabs. And then another thing I added on is I added this little um, tab on. So maybe you wanna have this in your purse. Maybe you want to have your Kleenex in this, in your purse and you wanna be able to get to it or you want to um, just have it that you can hook onto something. They are just so fun, you guys. And I have just been having lots of fun making all different types of snap bags. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I would love to see your snap bags. And um, please share with me on social media. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait to see what you guys create. And if you're looking for other inspiration, make sure you check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com.